Hey guys, welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Hey guys, here we're back with the F15. <laughs> uh, look what I got. Mm, I went to Hobby Lobby today and got me this to, 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 to be able to get more details out of it. To pass the details from this guy into that guy right there. Okay, this is what I'm going to be doing. You see I cut an extra piece right here. The, I'm going to glue here this place right here you know because I'm, I'm i'm looking to simulate see uh let me see if i can get a focus uh, i don't think so that shoulder right there the, the, let me try, put this. see to simulate this right here you cannot see it on the video but it's thick thicker and you see how this goes up here so we're going to be doing that here it's going to be just one full piece i'm going to be sanding on this line right here that you see here and uh you'll see it hey guys here are the pieces already sand uh, one thing that I'm gonna tell you whenever you cut this piece uh, this is, piece is not on the kit though so you're gonna have to make your own and uh, whenever you do it uh, do not peel the plastic off the bottom because that's gonna help you to keep to keep this piece together as you can see this one is very nice all around the corners and everything everything is very nice but this one right here that I peeled the plastic off was the first one I did peel the plastic off to do it you can see I have a, a bunch of chips there because that part right there, you know, it gets very thin. So it doesn't have if it doesn't have nothing to hold it together, it will break off with your sandpaper. And you see that right there. And this one looks very nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them in place. Okay, now we're gonna work on the turbine simulation. You see we have this right here and I was looking for they, they give you a template for this piece on the PDF file but I don't know where I put mine so I just went ahead and cut my own and as you see it's probably way bigger than the one that they give you on the PDF but you're probably thinking how in the heck are you gonna fit two of them because they have the other one marked over there this one is already almost covering one <laughs> the whole thing but you'll see on the pictures we're gonna bend all this nice and neat because as you see on, on the thing right here they are like way way up on the over there so they they jump like very very high off the fuselage so we'll do that okay Hey guys, you see it right here now. We finished these pieces, they're in place, nice and neat. You see it right there. And that's all we're going to do with the tail because we cannot cut these things right here because they are holding my firewall. And as you see, they are very, very high of the fuselage. As you see, they are on the on this scale model right here. So that's why I put them like that too. And also I want to show you something. Uh, I was trying to, to heat up a plastic for the canopy with my heating gun and I messed up my carpet because I didn't put fiberglass in it because I just I wanted to try it use like that and it didn't work and it messed it up bad. I was I was almost building a new one but then I remember of this step right here. I use this step to fix crown molding, chair rail or you know any 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 finishing wood they have a nice design to it and it is cheap or you know, have a, a chunk cut off or something. Uh, uh, I got this step from Lowe's. It's white, as you see right here, and it's extremely light. Even the name says it. So lightweight spackling. It's a fast and final. This step costs about three dollars and fifty cents, something like that. They have a bigger one. This is about four times more than this, for only seven dollars. Uh, I just got this one, this little one, just to try it, and it works very nice, as you can see here on the nose. Uh, I covered that hole and. It looks smooth whenever we paint it we know you know you, you're not going to be available to tell any of that anyway we're going to send this thing and we're going to start marking the lines on it the panel lines all over the fuselage and then we're going to paint it you got it guys you see i already marked all the panel lines in it the f-15 have a heck of a lot of panel lines so i just marked some of them because <laughs> it was getting 
a lot of them. So there you got it right here. Uh, my carpet is gonna be okay. Now we're going to paint this thing, guys. All right. Hey guys, and you see it here. I use a spray painted. Uh, one of these little cans was barely enough <laughs> for the whole thing is it's empty. <laughs> Once I barely make it all the way around the whole fuselage and everything. And basically what I needed to paint on the canopy. So let's now we're gonna wait for that to dry and we're gonna do the other color on it. Okay guys now what I'm gonna do is paint a darker color in it. As you see this model right here. I'm gonna just copy that same color. So I got this piece of paper. And I'm gonna draw that on the paper and then I'm gonna try to find a way to hold it down to the airplane to spray the darker color. Hey guys, check it out. <laughs> I think it's gonna work fine. Just nice. Uh, let me show you what I did. This is the paint. I use this glue right here. It's paper cement. I did not... Uh, okay, let me show you better. It's not dry yet, so I'm not gonna put it all the way up there. You see, I just see the and the picture before I put this paper here on the top of this, but I did not glue it all the way around. I just put glue like on the, on the on this corner right here, and this right here, and right there, and I did glue the all the way around this right here. But one thing, cause this glue is a paper, it's basically for tissue paper. So just just put a little bit on it, and whenever you spray it. Uh, you put your airplane down on the ground and spray from the top up. I know whenever you do it like this, you know, you, your thing doesn't, sometimes it doesn't get paint. But it's the best way to do it. So, so, so in that way you get exactly all around the edge without over, over spraying. And also, I was, was using this piece of paper, putting it on the edge, you know, so you won't get it everywhere. So I'm going to do the rest now. Hey guys, as you can see, it's done. Basically, all I have to do now is the missiles, but we're gonna do them later. I'm gonna walk around slowly because if I walk too fast, the camera won't, won't get it right. You see right there, I paint them black and silver. You can see right there. Uh, basically, I try to match as much as possible the, the color scheme from this little guy into that one right there, as you see right there. And as you can see on the side right here too, uh, my canopy, I'm going to be using this one for the moment, but later on I'm going to make one of clear plastic and I'm going to show you how to do that too. Okay, my friends, uh, on the next video we're going to put this guy on the air and I'm going to show you again everything I use to build this airplane right here, the F-15. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Check my channel and subscribe. See you later.